Hello my dear friends, give me 12 minutes and I'll show you the best way to create this animated infographic slide in PowerPoint. You'll learn how to design this kind of bubble infographic quickly and easily with all of the circles perfectly aligned. And as you can see we've got a bunch of awesome animations and I'll show you how you can create all of them easily step by step. And if you would like to master PowerPoint animations like a pro and start creating professional animated presentations that truly impress, then check out pptskill.com you'll get access to 65 plus video lessons where I reveal all of my PowerPoint animation secrets step by step. Link is in the video description and now my friends let's jump into the tutorial. Alright first let's quickly go over the style that we'll be using for this slide. So we'll be using this awesome font called Unbounded, it's free on Google Fonts, you'll find the link in the video description. We'll also use these three nice shades of green and you can see their hex codes right here. I'll show you how to make the soft fuzzy green circle too. And of course, I'll show you how to design all of these perfectly aligned circles. Okay, my friends, let's jump into this empty white slide. Let's right click on it and let's go to format background and let's fill it with the dark shade of green. That's beautiful. And once again, you can check the color hex codes right here. Now let's add a text box in the top left corner of the slide. For that, let's go to insert. Let's click on text box and let's just click once. Let's make sure our text color is set to bright green and for the font let's choose unbounded semi bold size 16 and now you can type in anything that you like for example percentage chart to position this text box precisely we can use guides so let's go to view turn on guides and as you can see i've set up this custom 12 by 6 grid that helps me align everything nicely if you'd like to learn how to create your own custom grids then feel free to check out my previous tutorial, link is in the video description. And next, let's add a small thin line just below the text box. Let's make it a bit wider. And once again, let's make sure it uses the same bright green color. For the line width, let's go with 0.75 points. That looks great, and we can turn off the guides for now. And next, let's duplicate our little text box. We can select it, hold down the control and shift keys and drag a copy in a straight line. Nice. Now let's type in something new, for example 75% and let's make this text super big. Let's set the font size to 140. That's beautiful. Now let's align this text box to the middle of the slide. That's nice. Now let's make the percentage sign a bit different. We can fill it with a different shade of green and also add a text outline that is using that same bright green color. And now we've got something that looks like this. Beautiful. Okay, my friends, and next I'll show you how we can design all of those little bubbles. And for that, let's first insert a big circle. Hold down the shift key while drawing the circle to keep it perfectly round. Okay, let's make sure it's 14 by 14 centimeters, just to be precise. Now let's align it to the middle of the slide and let's turn on the slide guides to make sure it's touching the center of the slide as well. That's beautiful. Now to split this circle into all of those smaller circles, we'll use this free PowerPoint add-in called Bright Slide. So let's make sure the circle is selected and then let's go to the Bright Slide tab and then let's click on Repeat and Distribute. As you can see, the circle is now split into 10 columns and 10 rows. That's nice. And if you'd like to adjust the spacing between the circles, you can tweak the gutters. I'm using four. And now just for fun, let's try using four columns and four rows. And this is how it looks like. That's nice. But let's keep it at 10 columns and 10 rows, click OK, and skadoosh, we got 100 circles. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's select them all and let's change a bit how they look. Let's add the same green color that we've used for the percentage symbol and let's add a thin bright green line to all of these guys as well. For the line let's use 0.75, that's nice. And now all of these bubbles look like this. That's cool. And next let's add those fuzzy circles at the bottom left corner of the slide. And for that, let's add a circle. Let's make sure it's filled with the same bright green color. There should be no outline. OK. Now let's jump into the format shape options and let's make sure that the circle is using a gradient fill. Let's use only two color stops and let's set both of the color stops to the same bright green color. Let's just make one of those colors fully transparent and let's set the gradient type to radial with the bright green color in the center. We can add a bit of transparency to the middle color so that it is not so intense. That's looking beautiful. And now additionally, let's go to the soft edges effect and let's drag it to the maximum. 
This way we'll get this soft looking fuzzy ball that will help us make our slide background a little bit more interesting. We can position it anywhere we want. We can as well make a duplicate, resize it and place it on the side. Later on we'll be animating these two guys and this way create an animated slide background. But for now let's make sure the slide transition is set to fade or any other transition that you like. And let's check it out on the full screen. Okay my friends, so we've designed all of the elements that we need and now we can proceed to the slide animations. We'll create a masked flying animation for the percentage number, animate the slide title and also add some new bright bubbles that will fly into the chart. Let's start with the slide title and the little line. Let's make sure they're both selected and let's open up the animation pane so we can see all of the animations. Now let's add a flying animation to both of them, direction from left. Let's make sure the duration is set to one second, that's nice. Then let's jump into the effect options and let's use a maximum smooth end for a soft ending animation. And this is how it looks, uh, that smooth. Okay, the first animation starts on a click and the second animation starts with previous. That's beautiful. Now I think we can continue with animating those soft circles that we have over here. Let's select this bigger soft circle and let's go to motion path animations. And let's add a motion path line animation. And for the direction, let's use right. So basically now this fuzzy ball should move to the right side. Let's set the animation duration to 4 seconds. In the animation options we can keep the smooth start and smooth end. Enable auto reverse. And for the animation start let's set it to with previous. Let's also make sure it repeats until the end of the slide. This way the animation will loop infinitely. Now let's move this animation to the top of the animation pane list so that it starts first. And now let's check it out on the full screen. So this softball moves to the right side, that's nice, and on a mouse click the slide label comes in together with that little line, that's cool. And next we can select this animated softball and use the animation painter to paste the same animation to this little guy as well. Let's just make sure we grab this red bubble and move it to the opposite side so that this little guy moves to the left. Let's also make sure that both softball animations are at the top of the animation list. This way those two fuzzy circle animations will start automatically. And on a mouse click we see the slide title and that little line. And next my friends, let's animate all of these little bubbles. Let's make sure we select them all. Let's open up the animation pane and let's add a zoom animation. And skadoosh, the zoom animation has been added to all of these little bubbles. Let's make sure the first zoom animation starts with previous. This way all of those animations will start automatically. That's nice. Let's check it out in full screen once again. So those fuzzy balls are animated and on a mouse click we get the title and the zoom bubble animations. That's awesome. And now my friends let me show you how we can create a beautiful masked flying animation for this 75% text box. Okay for that let's duplicate our percentage text, drag one copy to the bottom and let's make the upper text fully white. This will be our reference point. Now let's grab the green text box and let's add a motion path animation to it. Let's make sure it goes up and I'll just grab the red bubble and adjust its ending position so that it nicely covers the white text. And now we can delete that white text, we don't need it anymore. Okay, now in the animation pane we should see this text motion path animation, that's beautiful. Let's adjust its duration, instead of 2 seconds let's make it 3. And now let's go into the animation options and let's apply a maximum smooth end. And also let's animate text by letter with a 30% delay between letters. This way all of those letters will fly in with a nice little delay. That's cool. And of course we want this percentage text to be hidden at the start. And to do that we can insert a rectangle that covers our whole text. So let's draw a rectangle and let's apply the same slide background color to it. And at the same time let's bring those fuzzy circles to the top so that everything looks right. That's nice. Now let's open the animation pane and let's check everything once again. So first of all we have the fuzzy ball animations, then we have the slide title animation and all of the zoom bubble animations. And finally we have the masked motion path animation. So let's check it out on the full screen. First the soft bubbles start moving, then on a mouse click the slide title and the bubbles come in. And on the second mouse click we get the masked number animation. That's beautiful my friends. And next let me show you how we can bring this bubble infographic to life by adding the bright bubbles as well. To do that let's just duplicate our slide and in the duplicated slide we can delete pretty much everything except those little bubbles. 
Now in the animation pane, let's make sure we delete all of the animations. We'll add new ones later on. So currently we have 100 bubbles. And since our text box shows 75%, we need 75 bubbles. So let's delete the two top rows. Now we have 80. Let's delete five more. And now we have exactly 75 bubbles. Now let's select them all and let's jump into format shape. And let's fill them with the bright green color so that these bubbles stand out better. That's nice. Now let's select them all again and let's animate them. Let's open up the animation pane and add a fly-in animation to all of these guys. Direction from bottom. For the animation duration, I'm using one second. Then let's jump into the animation options and just for fun, let's add a bounce of 0.8 seconds. That's beautiful. But currently, as you can see, all of these animations are happening at the same time. And let me show how you can easily add a little delay between all of them. Let's select all of these bubbles, hold down the shift key and deselect the first bubble. It doesn't need animation delay. Now let's go to the bright slide tab, utilities, waterfall delay. And over here, let's specify a delay of 0.05 seconds. Click OK. And now in the animation pane, as you can see, all of these animations have a little delay. And this way we get a nice waterfall effect. This is how it looks like. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now that we have all of these animated bubbles, we can copy them and paste them into our main slide. Let's make sure all of these bubbles are nicely aligned. That's nice. We can delete that second slide. OK. And now let's open up the animation pane and check everything once again. So first of all, we have the fuzzy ball animations. Next, we have the slide title and the little line. Then we have all of the bubble zoom animations. And on the second click, we get the huge number animation. And next on the third click, the bright bubbles fly in. But let's actually make those bright bubbles start with previous together with the percentage number animation. So let's check it out on the full screen. First, we can see the soft circle animation. Then on the first click, we get the slide title and the bubble zoom animations. And on the second click, we get the masked number animation and the bright bubbles as well. Congratulations, my friends. Now you know how you can create this modern animated slide. And if you would like to learn how to create this animated neon infographic as well, then check out this video next. I'll see you there.